I hope you're all doing well and feeling blessed today. I want to take a moment to remind you of the goodness of our God and how He is always keeping us steps ahead of the game, even in the midst of a world that can often be challenging and uncertain. As people of God, as children of God, as the body of Christ, we are called to stay in His presence, to seek Him always, and to trust in His provision for our lives. I know that many of you are facing new challenges, new phases or stages of life that require you to rely on God more than ever before. And I understand that this can be difficult, especially when it comes to finances. We are so used to depending on our own resources, our own strength, our own abilities. But God is showing us that when we stay in His presence, there is never a recession. There is always a progression in Jesus' name. In 1 Kings chapter 17 through 19, we see the story of Elijah and how God provided for him even in the midst of a drought. God sent him away from the brook and into the house of a widow, where he learned powerful lessons about obedience, prayer, and trust in God's provision. The widow's jar of meal and jugs of oil never ran out, and God sent rain on the land until the drought was over. Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you today that just as God provided for Elijah and the widow, He will provide for you too. When you stay connected to the vine, when you stay in His presence, He will lead you to the water, to the provision that you need in your season. He is the living water, and He will never let you run dry. So whatever challenges you are facing today, whether it's financial struggles, health issues, relationship problems, or anything else, I want to remind you that God is with you. He is for you, and He will always provide a way in the wilderness. Trust in Him, seek Him always, and know that He is faithful. In chapter 18 of the Book of Kings, we see the story of Elijah, a man who was bold, faithful, and obedient to God's will. Elijah was faced with the task of standing up against the false prophets of Baal, who had deceived the people of Israel into worshipping false gods. Elijah's challenge was to prove to the people that God was the only true God and that he alone had the power to send down fire from heaven. In the midst of this great challenge, Elijah did something extraordinary. He took water and filled up the trench he had dug three times with it. This was at a time when there was a drought in the land and water was a scarce commodity. But Elijah knew that God had shown him where to find the water and he was obedient to God's command. The false prophets of Baal did not fill their trench with water, and this was a clear sign that they were in disobedience to God's will. They did not have the same level of faith and trust in God that Elijah had, and when God answered by fire, Elijah took them down to the Wadi Kishon and killed them there by the water. God is telling us that He is the living water, the way, the vine, and we must stay connected to Him. We must stay in His presence so that we know what to do and where our provision is coming from. As God shifts us around to different states, different countries and different places, He is not only doing so for the work that we have to do, but also for the provision that He has for us. When our brook is drying up, we must not miss that window of opportunity that God is giving us. We must flow with where the Lord is sending us, where the Holy Spirit is leading us, and with His wisdom. This may require us to step out of our comfort zone and take a leap of faith, but we can rest assured that God has got us, and there is always water in the wilderness and the desert. Elijah's story is a powerful reminder that when we are obedient to God's will and have faith in Him, we can do great things. We can stand up against the false prophets of our time, the false beliefs and values that seek to deceive and mislead us. We can be bold and courageous, knowing that God is with us and will never leave us nor forsake us. So let us be like Elijah, faithful and obedient to God's will, trusting in Him and His provision, and standing firm in our faith. Let us not be afraid to take risks and step out of our comfort zone, for God has great things in store for us if we are willing to follow Him with all our hearts. And let us remember that when we are faced with challenges and difficulties, there is always water in the wilderness, and God will provide for us in ways that we cannot even imagine. 
There's a powerful lesson in the story of Elijah that we can all apply to our own lives. It's a lesson about obedience, about faith, and about perseverance. Elijah was a man who understood the power of following God's instructions. He knew that when he aligned himself with God, he would experience the overflow, the abundance, the blessings that come with obedience. But it wasn't easy. Elijah had to rebuild the altar. He had to do the work that God had called him to do. And when he was done, he didn't just throw his sacrifice on the altar. He waited. He waited for the rain to come. He waited for the overflow to manifest. And while he waited, he felt the increase on the inside of him. He knew that something was about to happen. He knew that God had heard him. And then the rain came. The overflow came. It came in the form of a cloud, the size of a man's hand. It was a sign that God had heard Elijah's prayers, that he had been obedient to God's call, and that he was about to experience the blessings that come with obedience. But it wasn't just about the rain. It was about the journey that Elijah took to get there. It was about the transformation that he went through, the time that he spent in the cave, the silence that he experienced. It was in the peace that he found God's presence, that he heard God's voice. Life can be noisy. It can be filled with so many voices and distractions that it becomes difficult to hear what really matters. It's easy to get lost in the chaos and become overwhelmed by the challenges that we face every day. But in the midst of all this noise, there is a stillness that can be found. This stillness is the presence of God. It's in the moments of silence, the moments where we can let go of our worries and fears and simply be in His presence, that we can hear His voice. It's in these moments that we can feel His love and guidance and receive the peace that we so desperately need. But finding this stillness can be difficult. There are so many distractions and obstacles that can get in the way. Sometimes it's our own doubts and fears that hold us back, while other times, it's the influence of others that can cause us to doubt ourselves and our abilities. But we must remember that we are not alone in this struggle. God is with us, and He wants us to find the peace that comes from being in His presence. He wants us to hear His voice and receive His guidance, and He will never leave us or forsake us. So no matter what challenges we face, we must keep our eyes on Him. We must stay in His presence and let Him guide us through the noise and chaos of life. We must trust that He will provide for us and that His love and grace will never run out. And as we do this, we will find that our relationship with Him grows deeper and stronger. We will discover new levels of peace and understanding that we never thought possible. And we will be able to face any challenge that comes our way, knowing that we have the strength and wisdom that comes from being in His presence. So let us be still and know that He is God. Let us trust in His love and guidance and let Him lead us through the noise and chaos of life. And let us never forget that He is with us always, even in the darkest of times. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your goodness and Your provision in our lives. We ask that You would help us to stay in Your presence, to seek You always and to trust in Your provision for us. We pray that you would guide us and lead us in every area of our lives and that you would provide for our every need. We trust in you, Lord, and we thank you for your unfailing love. May God bless you and keep you, and may his love and grace fill your life today and always. Amen. Type Amen if you believe in the provision of the Lord.